A bishop in Ohio is celebrating National Catholic Schools Week by visiting every Catholic school in his diocese. Bishop Jeffrey Monforton has visited classrooms with students from kindergarten through the 12th grade. He encourages students to ask him questions about faith and the church. And Bishop Jeffrey Monforton from the Diocese of Steubenville, Ohio, joins us now. Your Excellency, thank you so much for your time. Great to have you on. I want to talk about your visits with your student, with the students, but first, can you quickly tell us about the Catholic schools in your diocese and what they're doing to celebrate National Catholic Schools Week? Absolutely, Tracy. It's great to be with you. Praise be Jesus Christ now and forever. We have two high schools, a junior high, and then we also have eight grade schools in the diocese. And we span about a four and a half hour drive north to south. And so what I do is I begin in the far south. It's about a four, four and a half hour drive from Steubenville, and I work my way north. I celebrate mass for every one of the schools. So this bishop's binating a lot during the week and have the opportunity to visit each one of the classrooms to do an impromptu ask the bishop. That's amazing. So what inspired you to do this? Well, I think it's good for the students to know that their faith is relevant. And um, I conducted a Ask the Bishop uh, article in my paper for seven years. And I would ask the K through 12 to submit questions. My, my thought is if they have questions about their faith, that means their faith matters. And I want to add emphasis to it by having the bishop visit their classroom and to show them just how relevant their faith is. And I love it from kindergarten to 12th grade. The questions, of course, are age uh, specific. And it's, I think it's very helpful, especially like the older grades talking about the uh, compatibility of religion and science. Yeah, and, and let me ask you this. Have you received, you know, I what kind of feedback have you received from the children and what kind of questions are they asking you? Well, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of cards back at home with a lot of uh, results of a lot of, uh, I guess you say, crayons. So there's there's a great response. I mean, obviously, we look at the kids, the older teenagers, they're a little more, let's say, reluctant. They're more self-conscious, where, whereas the uh, like the first and second graders are all over the place. Uh, second grade, we talk a lot about the sacrament of penance as well as the uh, sacrament of the Eucharist. Uh, we go further on into the other grades, and especially when it comes to, let's say, the, the teenagers. We talk about the relevance of uh, science and faith, uh, not to mention also uh, just what it took for God to create the universe. I, uh, I think one of the pictures I ha had provided you where I talk about the percentage of uh, how perfectly God had to hit the law of gravity at the beginning of the universe. It wasn't 99% of the law. He had to nail it. And he did just that. And so we talk a lot about science uh, and also when the relevance of the uh, Bible in their lives for the students to know that they're actually embarking into, as a friend of mine, he has an apostle called Acts 29. We know there are only 28 chapters to Acts, but we are in that Acts 29. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Now, where are you in the process of visiting all the schools? And also, is this something that you're going to maybe do again next year? I do it every year. I've done it since I became bishop nine years ago, and I uh, will continue to do it for Catholic Schools Week. Uh, Mother Nature thwarted me with an ice wall, uh, literally, on Thursday. And uh, so I have Thursday and Friday schools to, to remake, as we, as we say in uh, academic terminology. I prayed for no snow Thursday and Friday. The kids prayed for snow Thursday yeah. and Friday. We know God has favorites. Contrary to what we read, God has favorites, and the bishop is lower in the food chain when it comes <laughs> to God. So, But I'll, I'll be out there. So I still have some schools in Belmont County as well as in Jefferson County here. Yeah, I know the kids love their snow days. I know that. Oh, my, yes. <laughs> I did, too. Well, I want to ask you this. Something very interesting also out of Steubenville. Um, we read about a time capsule uh, back from 1924 that was placed in a cornerstone of a Catholic high school in Steubenville uh, that was recently unearthed. What more can you tell us about that discovery? And also, what did it reveal about the life of Catholics uh, from nearly 100 years ago in your area? Well, we had a good, good number of students that were at the school. It, it began, well, we had uh, combined grade school, high school, and it became uh, there became too many students in the school. So they built originally a, a one floor school, uh, four rooms uh, where the building used to stand. Unfortunately, we had to demolish it because it was uh, unfit for occupation, actually dangerous. Uh, but then eventually they added floors to it because the student body grew to the point that they would have over 100 students graduating each year. And, and that location is the original 
Steubenville Catholic Central, which has now moved to a, a larger campus. We have information there regarding uh, certainly uh, the, the church itself. Um, um, ironically enough, the uh, first, uh, I guess you would say, pastor of the parish in the 19th century ended up becoming uh, a bishop in Columbus, Bishop Hartley. So we do have a connection there. Even though Steubenville was broken off by Columbus, we also provided, of course, in this area, Steubenville, uh, Columbus, with one of its bishops. And we have some coinage there too, actually a, a coin uh, commemorating uh, Pope Pius XI as well. Uh, a lot of it is uh, time sensitive uh, to that era. Um, it's again, 1924, it's too bad we couldn't wait a couple more years, but uh, the building unfortunately was unsafe and we worked with the city to, to bring it down. But, but thank the Lord that in the uh, cornerstone, we found that time capsule. That is amazing. And Your Excellency, thank you so much for your time today. It was wonderful speaking with you and, and thank you for all you do. God bless you. God bless you, Tracy. God bless all of our viewers. Thank you.